Good morning everyone. So another day, another test for the Kubota. Uh, today she's on the she's on the Overham EX Plow. And uh, this was something that we really, really wanted to see the Kubota trying out to see how it handled it. Uh, these plows, uh, for anyone who knows them, uh, the EX is the heavy duty version. There's three different variations of the plow. There's a CX, a DX and an EX. And the EX is the heavy duty. It's the uh, Built, built heavy up, uh, it's got a very width on it, so there's a lot of extra stuff on it, uh, a lot of extra moving parts. Uh, and this plow also has, uh, it also has a full set of uh, skimmers on it, a full set of discs, uh, it's got some extra wear plates on it, uh, so it's a heavy plow. This, it's, this plow is actually as heavy as the equivalent 5 4 -er in a, a DX, so it actually might be slightly heavier with all the stuff that's on it so um yeah so it really was it really was a good test for us to just to see how it handled the the plow and absolutely no issue at all uh, our 6420s uh, when this plow is on it with a full set of weights struggles uh, the likes of here now where it's turning on top of the hill when you lift the plow if the front wheels of the tractor would lift off the ground uh, but this tractor does it it's fairly well planted. Even the 6.9 is a little bouncy on the front with this plow on. So yeah, it's, it's testament to the, uh, the Kubota and how it's, uh, how it's balanced, uh, how well it's, it's, it's able to handle the plow. Um, yeah, anything we throw at the, the Kubota, it seems to be able to handle it. So very impressed with it. Uh, yeah, plowing up. A little bit of a little bit of uh, stubble ground here. Uh, it's playing off fairly well. It's quite stony this ground, <laughs> like the previous ground. Uh, it's got quite a bit, quite a bit of stones on it. Uh, there's a bit of scotch grass. I burnt it off. It's burnt off seven days, and it's, you can see it there. It's just starting to yellow. Uh, so we're we're turning it over now, and uh, just to to it, we're hoping to sow this early in the week. Maybe on probably not tomorrow, but. It, I'd say probably on Tuesday, so we'll just see how, how that works out. Um, yeah, the ground is quite bumpy, so we're going to have to give it a slight run of the power harrow first, just give it a little leveling out, and then we'll we'll get it zoned. Uh, it is going to be limed tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be here for when it's been limed. Uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, and also not sure if we're going to have the Kubota. Uh, it may be going home tomorrow, I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah, so... We'll see how that works out, so we could be back to using the deers after that, but I'm going to try and do a couple of other little videos uh, later on today, uh, just to have them made, and they'll be going up then during the week as well, so uh, we'll do a walk around video on the Kubota, and we'll also uh, go do a little bit of a test video with it as well, I'm going to pit her against the 6.9 in uh, a certain condition, uh, we'll see how it works out, so we'll see, see how it works out, I think uh, I think it'll be interesting to see which will which will come out on top, <laughs> uh, because uh, I think that we might be surprised by it. We'll see how it works out. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna get the drone out. Gonna try and get it up. It's a little windy today, so I don't know how the footage will come out. Uh, I'll try and get it up there, get a bit of footage, and we'll come back at the end and see how see how we're getting on.
So we're on the home straight here, just this last little bit of a triangle up along the ditch and this bit of a headland here on the top as well. So not much left to be done. Uh, there is a little bit of heavy scotch grass in along the side here, which was burnt off a week ago, but it's stronger and it hasn't just changed colour yet. So it's proven a little bit difficult, it's catching in the plough a little bit, which is usually to be expected. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, over here tomorrow, hopefully, and get this power harrowed uh, just to get it levelled out. Lime going on tomorrow as well, and uh, yeah, just get her all ready for the sewing. That's, that's if all goes to plan. So as you finish off the last bit of a headland, don't forget if you're not already a subscriber to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell along the side uh, and that will just give you notifications every time I post a video, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, I do try to get back to you all and we will see you again tomorrow, have a good day.